time for propaganda, time to grab your brews and your carbons. Propaganda, propaganda, open up your best ideas, time to watch Deluxe Cough Brew a deck for you. Hello, everybody. It's Deluxe. It's Saturday, and we're playing one of my very favorite lists of all time. Blackburn about every four months with this one and I didn't need much excuse to dust this off because of this awesome new card here which acts like a Kessig Flamebringer slash Thermal Alchemist if you squint really hard. Uh, it's pretty cool. I've been having a lot of fun with it and uh, this is the list I'm running. I'm still at 18 lands. Three of them are Carnariums. I considered the Desert that does one damage the new card in the Cowboy set. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of tempo issues and the math that works out with this uh, really seems to be paramount on turn three to four with that Carnarium drop here. And also, you know, you can trip your little uh, blood tokens and such. So mind step throw with the hype. Thank you, sir. All righty. So that's the lands. We've got four bump in the night, one fruit, four Okibas. This is that card that just loves me. Everybody's got one. Uh, it's weird when it follows you digitally. This one does. I can put two of these in an 800 card list and I will probably have one in my opening hand is what I mean by that. It just, the card just loves me. All right, four scorpions, four arms of the vein. I put this in the one drop spot just to kind of keep this uh, little, these two columns even, but it does only usually cost one mana. Four sign and blood. We have three deadly dispute. This is uh, something I disputed for quite a while. I was trying to fit the fourth one in and I just don't know what to cut because um, you can argue you always want to draw cards. Uh, over just about any card in the list. I've really considered going down to three Tyrant's Choices, but in the end, I don't really have that many out outlets between the um, eight creatures, technically 12, main, and the uh, Vault of Whispers and Blood Tokens. Sometimes, you know, four can, felt a little heavy-handed, and we already have the four Sight and Blood, which is always the best turn to play for this list. More on that later. We got four Vampire's Kiss, four Tyrant's Choice, four Bites. I'm running two Reaps main, and of course, the card we're keen to see play today is the new Raven of Fell Omens. <laughs> Very Poe-esque. Ha! Iso's in the house. Good to have you with us. I just saw you there, Bacon Mastermind Step. Oh, Cheshire Human. Woo! You know what's funny, Cheshire Human? I was at 19 lands forever, and I kept getting screwed. I know that sounds counterintuitive. So what I did was I cut a land, and all of a sudden the deck started playing great. So there you go, algorithms. Uh, I was trying to do the math thing, and it wasn't. It kept biting me in the in the ass, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, woo. Anyway, yeah, it's great to have uh, Iso here. Quick shout out to uh, Popper Classic Tuesdays and the Magic Online Society. Iso has, and I, I've. I need to update the uh, Popper Classic Tuesdays because Iso used to be a fellow player, and he still is, and uh, it was always like either land on Peanut or Arctic Ghost hosting these things, and then when somebody was sick or something happened, he would step in, and now it's just 24-7, the Iso show. So good to have you with us, and uh, go check out uh, gathering.com, uh, especially on Tuesdays. And if you know, if uh, I know some of you Europeans and uh, Brazilians are going to get mad at me and say like, you know, oh, no, that's when we're sleeping. Well, go make your own. You can just start your own, make it popper classic Thursdays or something and, and do your thing there. So anyway, enough of that. Off to the uh, sideboard. We got two spell bombs, three macabre for our, our anti- graveyard package two suffocating fumes and two rats to kind of clean up the messes for debt to uh this is so good against a variety of decks obviously you know hexproof persuasion but um glitter affinity too usually name the only enchantment they have and uh, keeps you in the race and it exiles too so that can be very relevant sometimes and then the two other soul reaps you can um if you've got the funds which i do some of you don't might be more correct if you're really trying to 5-0 an event to run something like a snuff out in this spot or make room for three or even four of them, which I've I've gone back and forth on many a times. Um, I just found that I, I usually just don't need them all that much. And uh, the the extra, what do you call, uh, searing blaze in black, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool to uh, have happen. So anyway, off to that. Here we go with our first victim. Woo! Does Card Hoarder sponsor PCT now? That Traders is out. No, it's uh, the Magic Online Society, which has a Discord link and stuff like that. So um, how did I get rid of this last time? I went, did I do this or this? There we go. Okay, we're going to keep this. Three land hand, and I'm sure if I had 19 lands, I'd have a one land hand with nothing coming. I don't know what that is, but it's real. I mean, I, I did it for 
something like eight days. I was like, this has to break eventually. And I, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to cuddle in and see what happens. And boom, because the math says 18. And then, uh, you know, you think like, oh, I had the same thought many of you do, or it's just like, wait a minute, this has to be this way. All right, we'll lead off with the scorpion here. And if you do have that conundrum where you have a scorpion or Okiba Reckner raid draw, you always want to lead off with Okiba. So many more scenarios end up being uh, more likely. Snuff out is expensive. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yep. It's gone up about $3, mind stab. You're right. And one of the lists I don't want to face is walls. But here we go. All right. We'll lead off with the Raven, just get things situated here. Going to turn all our two and three manas to f f our damage to three and four damage. Make Popper cheap again, yeah. <laughs> yeah that'd be, that's great. I went and splurged on a few cards. I was, I've had like, I've got like six decks that are in waiting to show you guys that they're janky. They're janky. I mean, I, I know we 5 0 last week, and if we do really good this week, expect a hot mess next week. Um, I'm brewing something up in the Azorius Persuasion with Holy Cow and uh, the new blue instant that I really like that counters a spell or makes a creature at the end of turn. So it looks like we're losing this one bad unless they just drew horribly. They have to have like two lands in their hand for us to win this one, guys. This, uh, <laughs> this is like your optimal start here. Woo! Good times. Well, uh, We've got the thing. We'll do this. And uh, actually, that might have been a that might have been a mistake. I probably should have fruited there so I could have got the full value out of this and then a uh, sign in blood. Uh, let me double check something right here real quick. Yep. All right. Hmm. To lose tempo or not to lose tempo? Let's do both. I can't attack. <clears throat> I'm going to dispute the uh, serrated scorpion here. We'll do a little bit of damage. We'll draw a card, and then we'll have the mana available to do something else with, like bump in the night here. Let's try that out, hey? I don't get greedy with this uh, waiting around for the red turn here. So that's a uh, fire blast for one black if you're paying attention, folks. Woo! Pretty cool. Good times. hi -ya. Hey, Jared's in the house. Good to have you with us, my friend. All right. Yeah, I know I wanted to try out this Raven. It's one of those cards where you're like, yeah, that should fit. And then you put it in, you're like, duh. <laughs> like, why did I remotely have any uh, questions about that? But, you know, when you're playing as long as I have and you're as wrong as I have been many a times, that can happen. So get rid of leave the Stampede. Boy, they just have everything but it, it looks like. They need their little transmute dude, or, or maybe they do have it. Who knows? All right. Hey, there's only one card left in the uh, question box. Woo! Bink, pow, boop. Here we go. I got the nicest compliment from somebody, an email, who said that they uh, they just listen to the show as a as a podcast. They just put it in their headphones, and, and they're exercising. I was like, okay. So, welcome. Good to have you with us if you're exercising. Run a little harder. Do that extra set. I think there's a lot better options as far as just an audio thing. It, Kenku is online. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, well, that's just kind of a good scenario here. We've got a we've got a flyer, but they got a reacher, so we got to be careful. I don't think I can do too much here. Yeah, I, honestly, I think we. Oh God, I hate when I say honestly. Dishonestly, I do not mean what I'm about to say. Um, I think we sign in blood here and then bump so we can maximize. We can't kill them this turn. So I'm going to sign in blood. Hopefully we get a land. There's a land. Cool. But not that honestly. That's right. We'll get rid of here. We'll do the bump. They attack, that's great. We get one more damage in next turn. But be careful. Read your cards, kids. This <laughs> Ligden mess has reach. All right. Alrighty. So, da -da 
it dishonestly. Hopefully this person doesn't draw a good card. Do the thing. That would be a great magic card. Julie. <laughs> that would be the quote. Do the thing. Any of you Avatar fans out there. Oh, no. I see blue. This means our, our window has closed. Yep. Wah, wah, wah. Drift of Phantasms. They drift for a drift? How does that work? Thinning out their list? I don't understand this play. Reaping, okay. We're still, this is a, a new player to the list? Or they're doing something I don't know about. They just wanna drift, drift. Let them do their thing. They've got the game if they just find a freed, right? Oh, yeah, Dreamer Stingo, you won't catch me uh, arguing that point. Snuff Out is an amazing card. Really good against familiars. I mean, it's good against just about everything but black, right? I just, sometimes I get some complaints on, you know, if I just auto include Snuff Out. Just want to uh, have some options there. Boop, boop. Better write down what we're up against. Wife is out camping this weekend. Other than pickleball tomorrow morning, I will be online a lot starting this evening, this afternoon. Get a little punch drunk after playing so much, you know. Got to do some grocery shopping, get the house stocked up. And then it's hunker down in pajamas at 3 p.m. mode. How many of you are going to be joining me? Helps when it's cloudy out. So actually, I I heard a ridiculous stat because I was just in Seattle, but it said that so far, 2024, LA is like we have 12 more inches of rain than Seattle does. Even though they're always misty, it's not always raining there. But almost every weekend this year in LA, it's been raining. But this weekend, no. Staycations is dreamer staying. Oh yeah. All right. What are we doing here? Are we just losing? Oh yeah. Okay. We lose. Do we? Do they have? Do they have the uh, infinity angle here, or they can they just do a, quite a bit? Problem is they're gaining life, right? Scholar of Etrios. Each opponent loses life. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. Okay, that's an expensive roundabout way of doing it. I don't see a freed from the real combo here, so. The problem is they're gaining all the life that we spent getting them down. So, all right, we'll do this. We didn't get attacked with the tree, man. That was pretty cool. I guess we're going to go like this. Let's see, we'll kiss here. Bloop. Jazz in. Hmm. Let's do the draw thing here. Bloop. Man, if the Raven triggered each time, wow, would that be OP? Obviously, Wizards considered that. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Sure. You know, our life might be relevant here with these turns coming up, so we'll yield through this. Feels like we might be able to get them next turn, but uh, there's only so many forests they can do with that Quarian Ranger until uh, something like, uh, what do you call, Freed from the Real shows up. I hear you, Winfro. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. You know, if you like that effect and you got the mana for it, don't forget um, Basilica Screecher. Why do I know that? It's the Extort 1-2 Bat. Cost one and a black. I made an Extort list well, pretty much when it came out. That that back then you 4-0'd. You didn't 5 0 So maybe it wouldn't have 5-0'd, but... Um, I won a tournament with it. I just called it the Gray Ghost. If you're really bored, you can Google that and find a very janky list that I don't know how I won with it. But like I said, sometimes that uh, fervor for what you're playing is a real thing. I mean, what do I mean by that? Um, I can be just so into a list that I just win through sheer force of will. I've talked about this in the past. And then, you know, if you if you start going on a little bit of a bad run with it, then all of a sudden you're the exact same 75 and you're like 1-4 and you're like, wait, what happened to this thing? And it's, 
and yet you look at your play style or you replay the games and you're not really doing anything wrong, but that uh, passion isn't there. It's really strange. It, it's a thing. It's real. Boy, that's a respectable little side combo. If they were just attacking. They'd probably have us at like, you know, eight. Okay, we don't need that. Here comes the thing. Boy, we just, we need like quite a few cards here. Two, four, five, six. We've cut the option there. I don't think we want to be discarding anything quite yet. Uh, this is just about gaining life, I guess. I'm trying to hurt them. We really, the good news is we've got Soul Reap against an all green deck, but this is the problem card. So um, I think we keep the two in there that, that, that are doing that. I could technically di ditch this and just draw a card off of it. But uh, we'll try to keep him a little worried here. Hey, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make too much sense to attack, does it? I got two Reachers now, darn it. <laughs> Kenku Artificer is that much? Wow. I had no idea. You know, I, I missed bad. I. I remember um, a couple months after Ethereal Armor came out, I bought like, or I didn't, well, I did buy. It was just with free credit though for like, you know, three tickets each or something, all the Ethereal Armors I could find. So I have like 20 of those or something. I just was like, this is, I just had a hunch. This isn't going to ever be reprinted and Hexproof is just going to keep going up, up, up. Just like um, glint, uh, all that glitters, but it's like, nope, missed bad. All right, we're yielding here. Hopefully we can live. Looks like we can. And we're kind of combo list in this little sort of gray area of, of staying alive, but not really doing too much here. It's what I love about Blackburn and these blood tokens at this stage. If we draw dead, we just pitch it to the blood. Pitch it to the blood. Sounds like a cool uh, beginning song lyric, right? All right. Pyroblast, yeah, everything's going up. Yeah, when you get a card like that, that's what really sucks about making like your own battle box. Uh, everybody's got, you know, paper pyroblasts and stuff, but it's like, yeah, and then you make 10 decks that all need four of them. It's like, oh my goodness. So I think if I was a store, I would be very kind to look the other way when it comes to sideboard um, permanence like that, you know? Oh, just attack here, dude. What are they? You just attack there and I have to block. They're getting very, um, I th obviously we've lost here, but the, illustrates an interesting point. They're getting very uh, honed in on, on what their deck does, right? Not, not what they should be doing. All right, let's concede. We have lost the first game. L. It's not a good matchup. Okay. Crypt Rats is going to be awesome. Although we did see the white card being the center point, I'm still going to lose those. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Now this will do absolutely nothing. But Cobb's not going to do too much. Hmm. Maybe I keep in one of these. And we'll have three bits of bait for all the rest. Well, that let me get rid of fruit here. This style of list, I'm not too concerned with that. And then let's put a Carnarium between the rats, because that never loses. Woo! Yeah, I hear you, Iso. I, I always get in. Whenever a new set comes out, I spend a whopping, like, 30 cents with store credits and whatever tournament winnings and uh, go from there. I got kind of screwed on a... a MTGO traders though, because playing a uh, popper classic Tuesday so long, I had I had something like eighty dollars in credit, and I I got it down to about twenty, and uh, then then it just completely they just disappeared, and so I, I lost out on about twenty tickets in popper. That's that's <laughs> that's like a mortgage, right? It's like I I never pay for for magic or sets or whatever. Look at these these this is perfect land draws because we cut a land. Isn't that funny? Woo, fumes is good. Yeah. I don't know. Three mana. I don't want to be doing that against a wall list. Taking out maybe two creatures. I 
Might be wrong, though. Do I save this for the three-turn play? I think I do. Yeah, let's we'll just... Yeah, Double Raven's so nice. Against, you know, <clears throat> as bad as I don't, you know, like this matchup, it is nice to not have your stuff be messed with, right? We'll lock out a Raven here. Bloop, bloop. And hopefully we just draw into a land because then that bump in the night's going to hit for five. So that'll be pretty sweet. And that might be what we need to really get over the hump here. And we can even attack with the Raven. Look at that. Caw! I wonder if Fragile is ever going to be a mechanic. And you start thinking about, like, here's a Raven, right? And it's a 1-2. I mean, there's a lot of badass-looking humans in the art that are 1-1s. One you know, it's like, really, a Raven? You know, was it Rabbit or something? But uh, maybe, like, a Fragile. Like, you know, it's a it's a zero zero, but it's uh, it, it has, like, 0 0.01 life. <laughs> so some of these stats can start making real-world sense. What's the biggest discrepancy you all think about? Like the, the art or the, the idea of the card, the name of it is so weak and it's got way too good of stats for what it does. Let's, let's do that game in the chat, eh? Woo! Come on, land, where you at? Hey, yeah, yeah. do we try to go for it? Hmm. All right, we'll do the double raven, damn it. All right. Really wanted to hit a land there, but whatever. Hey, none of that TBH stuff here, so We're all about being dishonest. Wink, wink. Oh, is that what Yu-Gi-Oh does? I'm, I apologize for suggesting that. Yes, I don't want this to turn into a child's game. I always see this as poker mixed with chess. Whenever I, I have like less than a sound bite to tell people what magic is when my wife brings it up at some, you know, and inevitably it'll come up as much as I play this game and as big of a part of my life as it's been, you know, got to gotta be able to say it to naysayers. And I always say like, I go, yeah, they're the company that made Pokemon too, but it's like poker mixed with chess. So there you go. Feel free to steal that. Here we go. Ooh, I like this, but good God, if we don't draw land here. We're so screwed. Now I could guarantee it by disputing. We'll probably draw a land. We can use the token for the thing. Uh, let's try to play correct magic. We should hit a land here. If we don't, this is a super stultified move. Because they've got, you know, the reach dude. Oh my god, deck, come on. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. All right, we shall attack. We'll get in for one. Check this out. My goodness, talk about paying your dues. Hey, hey, hey. Coffee mist nose apologies. Ah, this is, we need all the help we can get against a wall deck, and we're not getting it. They should be at like nine life right now. Just set up, set up, set up. Hopefully, they'll start paying off, and these threes will just start doing fives. Oh, man, Yu-Gi-Oh! sounds like a mess. I think I'll avoid that. That's the private. My biggest gripe about Magic is it's such a good game that I just don't want to play anything else. Like, when, when there's an option to do anything, it's like, eh. I mean, the only reason I really play other games is my wife doesn't play Magic, and so it's like, you know, we'll, we'll play cards or Catan or something like that, but, oh, boy, there's a lot of stuff out. Oh, no. Yeah, we have not been fast enough. Kill that. Sentinels here. Oh, they've got the wall. They've got everything they need. Here comes the shield wall. Oh, nope. Guess not. Caretaker showing up. Yeah, we've lost. We've got like one turn to win here, and we're not going to be able to do it. But we'll play it out. Well, thanks a lot, List. Alrighty. I'm going to guarantee that we draw land. Take, check this play out. <laughs> Crunch. They've got two defenders there. They've got a query and ranger. I don't think they're going to do that for an attack. So let me do this. 
Technically, we could probably double attack with... There we go. All right, so we hit this. Ay, ay, ay. This is bad. This is very bad. We need to stay alive, probably. So we've got a we've got a, a card next turn as far as uh, that goes. So let's just let's gain some life. I'll do five, gain three. Oh no, nope, never mind. Gain five. Don't worry about carnage next turn. Got the land for next turn. I don't think we're gonna be alive next turn. I have to draw pretty dead. I mean, they've already got the wall that can go search for stuff. So this one's over. Yeah, that's a good point. So at some point they gotta you gotta just kinda cut your losses, right? I mean someday this show won't air. Hopefully it's not for a very long time. What else would you do with your Saturdays, right? I appreciate it. So many of you have written me over the years. Kind of complimenting this on being the cornerstone of your weekend. I would suggest that you Try to up, upgrade your life and do do more with it, but I appreciate the uh, the compliments. A nice big hike is a really good way to spend your day, but hey, you've got a choice. I'm glad you choose me. Woo! All right, they're going and getting the stuff. We have had enough. This is just going to kill us, unless they just don't have the mana. I still haven't seen freed from the real, so. Are they going to get the thing here? Let's see. Are they doing the thing? This kind of reminds me of that uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know, when they open it, all those little spirits come out and swirl about. The drift of phantasms. That's actually what's happening in that scene. There is a drift of phantasms happening. And I don't know if nobody's told this person about uh, this card called Freed from the Real. It would uh, free up their clock quite a bit. Bam, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. What am I doing? Let's let's save some time here. Yeah, at some point I've got a we've had a few different time slots over the years for the when I first started doing propaganda, I didn't work on Fridays, so it was always Fridays. And that, that worked out for a while there, but Never really had the viewers because a lot of people were at work. But, of course, then you have the argument. A lot of people at work want to waste time or, you know, burn the clock out. And so they, they could watch live there. And I kind of like not being a weekend streamer because it's just such an obvious time slot, you know. But, oh, there's Freed from the Real. Okay. Yeah, we lose here, right? And they do. They can keep doing the thing. Boop, boop, boop. Concede. Bloop. They got us. The real card showed up. We lose, lose. And Edgar Allan Poe's little raven goes chirping into the night with its head held low. Wonk, wonk, wonk. Why do I have this big space here? To show off cards. Woo! So, yeah. This is what the show's all about today. Ba, ba, ba. All right. Got the nice little mug from Jared. I haven't used it yet. I just keep looking at it. It's kind of more of a, uh, this is just my my drinking mug. Get, get used to it, right? Oh. <laughs> Mind stab. Hey, hey, hey. I keep telling my wife, you know, and she rolls her eyes at my dad jokes. I'm like, you should stay out of our chat. <laughs> yes, we've got we've got some killers in the room when it comes to dad jokes. <laughs> All right. Don't don't um miss out on this card. This this really shuts games off against a lot of um, control decks when it gets to that late stage of the game. You can really have some good times there. Yeah, I want to play first. Minimize this. All right. We've got one, two. We've got two plays on the go. One of them's Okiba. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Probably regret it. We'll see. 
I do like that quote on the Raven and unkindness. It's very, uh, what was that? Was that Winnebago man that, that started all that? I'm going to give a clue here now. Or what did he say? Um, what, where am I? Is that a Farley movie? No. Do me a kindness. What's that from? Ah, somebody help me out. My brain's not working. Hey, what's going on here? Well, we were going to draw perfectly after that. You'll see. Bump, ba dump. I guess sometimes they just don't want to be on a show. Whoo! Anyway. Yeah, this card, the Fruit of Tezris is, is really a... It's, it takes a lot to want to cut that. For the longest time, I played Siphon Life. But uh, too many lands is not a problem for this list because... After about six, it is because of the flashback on this card. But we'll keep this. Any two swamp sign and blood hand, I will auto keep. There's something about the ratio of winning with this list when you have two swamps and a sign and blood as your second play. It's off the chart. I would. It's probably in the high nineties. <laughs> yeah, it, it did have win the game on it as far as that's concerned, right? Heart of the Sea, really? No, that's not it. Chat GTP strikes out. That is not correct. Because I haven't seen that movie. And it's bugging me. All right, we're going to be drawing cards, so, And we don't have a raven in hand. So let's minimize the faults. Woo! I think, um, courtesy of our last guest or her opponent thrashing whatever you want to call it walls has probably got the highest ratio of wins against me i tend to build lists that don't do good against walls and whenever it's quiet in the metagame and i'll jump into a one league and every five months or so i think is about what i average it'll be my first round opponent <laughs> and i'm just like wait am i streaming what's going on here <laughs> In the campaign, we had a character in our party, largely a sorcerer, says mine staff, their old name Raven. It's it called the Raven, was called Quoth. Quoth the Raven. Do me a kindness, that's right. What is the kindness from? Darn it. I know this, I know this, I know this. All right. Remember what I said about that? I'm still going to hold true. We're just going to draw the cards. This is like a mutual fund. Just put the money in and forget about it. Draw your cards. There we go. That's right. Jack Rebney is the Winnebago man. Do me a kindness. That's right. It's a Winnebago man. Hey, yeah, got it. <laughs> I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. There's that little collage of just the outtakes. For those of you that don't know about the Winnebago man, you should just go check it out. There's... There's two videos that are really viral with a high view count. Check out the one that's like a minute or two shorter. That's the best edited one. But man, oh man, is that funny. We we have a few of his skits on propaganda here. When I do the play mats, there's that thing like um, when he's just this old man. Just it, the the background story is I guess it was like unholy hot. Like it was like 110 degrees in like Atlanta. Summer, sweat, flies, everything's just everywhere. And they had this minimal crew to do this thing. And they, this guy was just losing his SHIT just all the time. And uh, they just took the outtakes. of A nice guy. And he poked fun at himself a lot, too. It was very endearing. And then this tape made the rounds. And it just got epic popular. Then the internet shows up. And this guy's just living on his own in some little, you know, just place up in Northern California. And then it doesn't realize he's like uber famous. And then uh goes to like, it's just, there's a show on Netflix too called the Winnebago man. That's just, it's just fascinating stuff. All right. What am I doing? We're going to try to do this. So we have a blocker. The dispute is a nice angle here. Um, that fangs gets me a little worried. Oh man. Oh man. Um, I'm just going to maximize here. We'll do more stuff next turn. Uh, obviously, if if I know they don't have like a, a spell snare or something like that in their hand, I can dispute. 
I'm going to hate to see a unexpected fangs, a 6-6 six, six coming at me, but I'm just blocking anyway. All right now I'm going to play like they don't have a fangs. Usually they only have one main, and the rest are on the side for red matchups. So this might just get them to 12. We get a blocker out of the deal. Or do we just take it? I think we just take it at this stage. Next, next turn, I would much rather have one, two. I could still do that. Yeah, we'll just take it this time. Yeah, the Raven is definitely something we care about living. So it's not going to be in a black sack list. But, uh, you know, a card I've seen a, a very big depreciation in is uh, Tithing Blade. I just, uh, for like the last week, I haven't run into many people running it. I was like, where did this go? <laughs> Such a, I'm sure it still is. It's just the, the weird anomaly that is uh, who your opponents are throughout the week, right? Hotlanta for sure. All right, we're blocking next turn for sure. They definitely are representing counter magic here. After turn five, this deck kind of does whatever it wants, but um, we've got to kind of play around Spell Pierce here. I know I always say Spell Snare. It's not like I play Modern all the time, but... Okay, which is what we've got to play around now. So... Just drop the mana, do the thing. We'll play this out. We're going to block. It would be preferable to sack. So do we just choice now, I guess? Bloop. We'll say torture. We will attempt to block sack. Unless it just dies in the interim here. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I love, yeah, I love that sack it before the life gain. That's why I love Ginger Brute so much. You get those out of control 9-9 nine, nine lifelink when life's on the line, and it means the game, and you just sack it. That is the coolest trick ever. They're digging. I don't think yeah, I love this. They got snuff outs. It's like, good luck. <laughs> Here's your removal spell, sucker. Death is too good for them. Torture it is. Gotta say that in some sort of tyrant font voice, right? All right. What shall we choose? We'll do that. They all everybody knows what's coming. Here comes a counter spell for our dispute, but we still gain two life, they lose two. And it locks him out of a bit of tempo here. Come on, counterspell, hopefully. Good. All right. We still prevent 10. Turn it into 3. That's a pretty good deal. We've got him in striking range. All right. Don't, don't drop another big old fish. Sakaganda. <laughs> listening to a podcast the other day and I heard the word propaganda a couple dozen times I just kept like doing little double takes with my ear because you, know, you just hear it so many times the other way well we've got a good blocker here that might actually be very relevant play the land I think we just hard cast alms and raven here right yeah because we've got an opening here and this this will this will do four Nothing to sneeze at. And we've got a blocker. So all of a sudden, we're just way back in it. Even a dispute here. We could sack our raven after a block and be able to recast Bump in the Night from the yard. <laughs> I like your style, Dreamer Stingle. Counter target spell if there's a planeswalker in the yard. <laughs> Oop, is there one? Oh, that's right. That is probably the best overall art for Counterspell, I would argue. I keep wanting to find that one. I've got the original one. I go back and forth because I like being the old schooler in the room, you know, where every card you see is like, oh, wow, that's ancient, you know, because I am, and I've been playing this forever. But then sometimes the art wins out. My least favorite Counterspell is Jared Wall Attest. 
is the Jazzercise Counterspell. But of course, that's the one I have in paper. And I just never, you know, when I went to Card Kingdom and I, and I met Jared um, up there, what was that, two, three weeks ago, I went to the, the little kiosk there and I'm like, all right, now's my chance to get like eight counter spells and exactly the art I want. Typed it in, none available. I was like, wow, times have changed. For the only other time I was at Card Kingdom, I, I would type in something and they'd be like, okay, we got 44 of that. What, how many do you want? And it was like, wow. Yeah, the, the Ice Age one, which makes even less sense, right? Why would you be wearing Jazzercise outfits in in an Ice Age? <laughs> it just makes no sense. Oh, this is interesting. Well, we could get them to three if we sign and blood them. I think the options are a little bit better if we do it to ourselves. Ah, a lot of things save us here. Because we've got Okiba here to do the, the the extra stuff. There we go. I mean, we just made we'll make them feel like we we had it all along, right? We'll just do this. We could have just did, done this combo. Torture, and we win. Boop -ba doop. It's usually how this list goes along with that. I tend I tend to beat that list quite a bit. So this is why we're running these. But that's about it. Uh, da, 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 da. The debt to the Kami is probably going to be better, especially EOT against this style of list. I think I'll bring in three of them. Now, do we want to keep Soul Reap, right? That's kind of the question at hand. I think we're going to skimp on those. I can lose one of these. Got good blockers. These are actually can get home pretty re decently, but they're gonna, you know, not have their snuff outs anymore. So we're probably looking at like an agony warp, or uh, they want to dig real deep, uh, echoing decay. Oh, you like that art mind stuff after all? <laughs> Flag bearers, yeah, I've got quite a few of those. My collection's getting pretty decent. I think I have about almost like nine of everything. Almost. I like to have enough to where I can make two decks and then have a little bit of uh, borrowing power. Mm, I'm not going too deep in the woods here. I think three's right. I'll get rid of a dispute. I'll get rid of another bump. I prefer fruit uh, for these for the games that go a little bit longer. Bump in the night's nice for that flashback, but usually when you're flashing that back, you've won. Another two land hand. We love that. Again, we're just going to lead with a bump and blot ourselves unless something drastically changes. I can't even envision that. Keep. Let's see if my scenario comes true. Two swamps and a sign and blood in hand. Probably at about a 97% win rate when that goes down. So then that begs the question, why not run Knight's Whisper instead of Deadly Dispute? If that's really the case, that might be a better call. Yeah, sixth edition is pretty bad. Any any uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh edition, I think, are all white bordered. So yeah, put those at the top of the list. It's one good thing about Jazzer size counterspell is it's black bordered. <laughs> I remember flag bearers. When was that? Like 2017. They they gave everybody with an online account like one or two of them because they were just really hard to find or something weird like that. Anybody else remember that? Am I making this up? Well, I'm going to change the plan here, guys. I feel like this is a counterspell no matter what turn. I really prefer this or this if I know they don't have a counterspell. Uh, but I'm going to Tyrant's Choice here just to try and, like, you know, if, they, if it's early in the game, I'm sure they have a counter in their hand. Oh, all right. I kind of wanted them to counter that. Now, if we don't hit a Swamp and I get countered with a Sign in Blood, that's really bad. So that's that's how we could probably lose this game. But good on them if they if they're holding a counter spell and they didn't fall for that. Oh, that'd be a great idea, Winfro. <laughs> a counter white bordered card spell. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Counter target. It'd be like one blue instant counter target spell if it's white bordered. That would be oh, that'd be a good card for uh I gotta write that one down. That'd be a good, uh, you know, this little pumpkin frame that I'm sitting in. 
somebody wants Halloween to come sooner, right? Um, that'd be that'd be a good little quote. I'm always looking for funny little quotes that are MTG related when I make up these fake cards that I sit hours inside of, trapped for all of your enjoyment. Be able to counter even lands. That'd be sweet. You know, you never know with uh, what are those the unsets, the unglued, and all that. Maybe that's where uh, MTG like online. You know, that's twenty plus years old now. It's uh, I don't think it's going anywhere, but you never know. Maybe it'll evolve into something like some like parlor game on the side thing. Or there'll be some format where you know you can create cards or wouldn't that be cool? Be able to just put your own artwork on stuff. That would be quite a slippery slope, though. People putting all sorts of inappropriate stuff on, kids playing the game. Yeah, never mind. That's a bad idea. All righty. Let's do the thing. I'm just probably walking right into a counterspell. Hopefully it's a counterspell, not a spell pierce. All right. That really worked out well. I... Actually, want to go Carnarium here. Just kind of paying our dues. Want to have as much mana as possible. Debt to the Kami is going to be coming into play probably in the next two turns. So we've got to have enough mana to kind of flex another route, right? So show them a Tyrant's Choice, getting them to single digits will probably elicit a counter spell, and then we debt. Colorless Hydroblast is went for nice. Blood Pact. Yep, I've I have played Blood Pact. Uh, I like that card because it's an instant. But the three mana is a, a deal. I'm I'm serious about that uh, Knight's Whisper. I that's the first time I've had that thought. I almost feel guilty about it. I mean, Deadly Spirit's an awesome card and all, but uh, you are losing a resource and you're gaining one. There's plenty of times that instant thing's awesome, but um, I might. I think I'm going to try that after the show. I'm going to try that over Deadly Dispute. Because it is just such the fuel for the fire for this list. And you're gaining enough life. I mean, unless it's burn, you're usually pretty pretty good. I think it's very obvious what our play is here. We lead off with Kiss. So we could play around uh, Spell Pierce. And then we just on their turn, Alms of the Vein, draw. I believe that's the best line here. Yeah, let's keep it like that. And we're also threatening, you know, cast down. They don't know we're not playing with those. Tell you what, I, uh, I've i got that 4K video ripper that you can get where I think it's like a $15 for a lifetime license or something like that, but lets you you know, kind of pull videos and, and stuff or, or audio and stuff. But um, after paying for the uh, Oppenheimer soundtrack I on my piece, uh, just out of guilt, then I, I ripped um, the album off of uh, YouTube. And man, I have just been listening to that on repeat for months. It is such a good soundtrack. I've seen the movie about six times now. <laughs> So I, I'm a fan of doing this now because it's petty, but a lot of times people write during this, they just say, yeah, 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 and then they skip through their attack phase. It's cheap, but hey, I'm not uh, against kicking sand in my opponent's uh, eyes while they're trying to swing at me. Let's do it. Woo! True martial arts is avoidance. All right, sight and blood, there we go. Death mark. There's a good uncommon, right? Forgot this username. Of course, it's Chief. It's Popper. <laughs> oh, man. They're making a game out of it. What's going on here? <laughs> Marital. <laughs> to keep this option open we have to get rid of that I would really like a blocker here I 
Act like we're mana screwed, maybe? Lead off with... Uh, let's lead off with this. I'll call death just to be cute. Maybe they'll screw up. All right, this is good times. Boy, I really don't want a uh, pierce here. But I'm going to go for it. Creature, please. I'm not a big fan of this new uh, thing here. You got the pierce. They probably win if they have the pierce. Hey, all right. Woo! Daddest of jokes. Wait, wait. I should cover. <laughs> Hmm. With all the Phyrexian mana out, there's that uh, Tethmos High Priest. I still haven't really found a list that really abuses that well. I've gotten close. I've had a few five O's with, but you know, the very next day it'll it'll three two or something. And there's only so many gut shots and mutagenics, especially now that Gitaxian probes been banned. Yeah, Lotus Petals for sure. Uh oh, here comes the swarm. At least they're not gaining life though. All right, what do you got here? As long as it's not some big old serpent. Good times. Well, there goes the rest of our debt to commies. Uh, yeah, maybe even a fumes. Tough to get around that. I wonder if that's ever been written before. I just wrote fumes for birds. <laughs> I wouldn't want to bet a digit. Maybe the tip of a finger for like a couple million dollars. What do y'all say? I think that's ever been said or written. All right, let's remember what I said. We need resources, so let's go get them. Oh, blood. Good times, good times. Uh, we could do it again. Let's do this. Returning this. Play this. Getting some damage here. Boop. And we'll do this. Plop, plop, boom. Not so bad. This is when the deck really starts screaming as long as we don't just get flooded. Good to know, Dreamer Stango. I've had a lot of luck with all the uh, Phyrexian mutagenic to keep it alive, gut shot to just weird little combat tricks, or even zapping your own Tethmos EOT. That's right, rituals are kind of high priced, aren't they, online? I've been wanting to play, um, Sitted Rankin had a uh, very expensive list. It's like pretty much all of the uh, emblems and all of the monarchs and, and a lot of uh, ritual-esque stuff. But um, like I said, most of my accounts with um, MTGO traders and they didn't have any. So I got to buckle down and get some more. All right, we're taking two. Let's see if a big serpent's going to show up. That's another one that the wizards just gave people was the gates, remember? And they didn't have enough for everybody. They were just like, here, your account just has them now. That was pretty nice. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Looks like they're sitting behind a counterspell. We need like some scorpions to show up big time. We're not going to be able to withstand this. All right, that helps a little bit. I think we're going to blood here. I'm going to use a... Uh, we shall blood. We need scorpions. Something to just block with. Uh, it's a little late for you, spell bomb, damn it. Two mana to draw. Yeah. Well, if they don't have a counter, this feels pretty decent, don't it? Do this for half their life. Are they going to let it through? Here comes the counter spell. Well, we've got five damage there. Doesn't really do anything here. I'm gonna get rid of the spell bomb. 
too late in the game for relevance here. That could keep us alive. Yeah, do we? I think we do that, right? That's 12, 13, 14. Where <laughs> can we do it with one life? They're out of counter spells. This might be a nice little sequence. We've got 14, we've got 15. Oh, I don't remember that, Dreamers Can I go? I remember the uh, the flag bearers and the gates. That's all I remember as far as like a gift to everybody goes, but woo, they got an unexpected fangs, they just win here. But fortunately, I know about maths. Oh, I like this a lot. Yeah, you go ahead and tap out. Almost got you dead. If Okiba wasn't flipping over, I would have you. We've got so much land, and we've got an extra one in our hand. This is pretty high percentage here. Woo, we do it. It's always how this deck works out. We just get away with a 2-0 almost every time against um, these sorts of lists. Just Cards just work out. They're just a little too slow. Never didn't have it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Woo. Well, we started off with a bad matchup, and there's a good one. Come on now. Submit. I have to say, sportsmanship has gotten better over the years. When MTGO first came out, every other person you would beat would just just rant at you. It's like, oh, you luck sack, and blah, 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 blah. You know, just, it's probably what's happening here, right? I've got my chat closed, so boop. All right, let's just run a, run amok. We'll go to number three. Good times. So yeah, expect pretty janky list next week. Almost positive it's going to be Azorius in nature with uh, the holy cow. It's just a lot of fun playing EOT stuff, right? Run amok. One in a red. Tarkic gets three, three. Trample. That's it. That's a lot of man. That's a lot of mana for one little. Stat boost and a little bit of evasion. I'd expect it to have one more thing the way things are going nowadays, but what are you going to do? So, yeah, we're trying to play some of the new cards from the new set. The new Game Nights, I haven't finished it, so don't tell me who wins, but uh, they had the little cowboy theme there. I still don't think they're ever going to beat the uh, the crime one where they did the Law & Order sort of spoof at the top of that. I thought that was just almost flawlessly done. There was... Ugh. If they ever contacted me, I would be so, like, my son has to go with me because he's a way better Commander player than I am. I've played maybe 20 games of Commander. And if they ever reached out, I think I would just use the community's help. We'd come up with a list together, and then I would try to go represent and embarrass myself. <laughs> my thing, I don't have much of a political game. I, I I always take out one or two people pretty darn fast, go all in, and then the political side gets me and I get teamed up on. All right, this is a <laughs> pretty easy go get rid of this. Budzik, they created a deck. I believe it was the original Zero that inspired me with all the, um, con um, yeah, con Convoke? Yeah. Mulligan this. I believe. We'll keep. Oh. This is... I think I'm going to get rid of the fruit here. I mean, it's a nice play off of this. I'm going to get rid of the fruit. Tough call. Lose a little bit of tempo there. Good points, main step. All right, we'll end up paying our dues here. Come on out, bird. Of course, we're up against uh, removal colors straight away. I just remember that, like, real early days of Magic Online. Oh, hey, look at this. I like Minded Soul. No joke, at least one in four matches. It's just a, a paragraph of hate after you, you beat somebody or you just, you know, draw good. And, of course, they never mention, like, oh, yeah, and you just sign and blood, blooded yourself, and, oh, you're such a luck sack. And it's just like, dude, come on now. Go on here. All right. 
I'm a little worried about this matchup. Traditionally, before the advent of the uh, Raven, um, Rakdos was quite a hard matchup. We'd almost get there just like the last game, right? It was just like that where um, us being like the UB player from last last game, it's like we'd almost get there, got them almost dead, but the Rakdos list just has an, a little bit more tempo-esque sort of uh, uh, moves and are able to get there just a little bit more consistently. So I'm wondering if this is going to help out, but not if they're running it too. <laughs> Which is a good sign for the card's health, right? I guess I'd eventually come around to that uh, multiplayer game uh, happiness uh, political side of things, but uh, for right now, no. All right, 21. I think life's going to matter a lot here. Eh. I'm gonna I'm gonna kiss here just to get our tokens online. I always dispute these. Uh, let's return there. We really want to hit that fourth land, and then we can start doing stuff. That darn Raven. Yep. There's a five loss or turn, or four. Well, I was gonna attack. I was right the first time. <laughs> All right, we need some of these lands to show up here. Surprised they're not running the uh, desert. I guess they're going all in on the uh, deadly dispute plan, probably. Alrighty, let's dispute one of these tokens. Force our lands to hit. I guess they don't really want to, do they? Jesus. I'll go from here. Considered kissing there, but uh, gotta get this little steady life package up online. Eh, I'll go black here. Let's try to keep him keep him honest. All right, mind step throw with the research there. What do y'all vote would probably be the best for a red aggro deck, right? Yeah, I don't think we're winning this one. They got rid of our our Raven really early. And this is when the deck tends to outshine us. Doesn't help that we're a little stultified in our mana. It got us by two and a permanent on board. So it's hard to tell if this is a, a, a fairer fight now, but given that they're playing the Raven too, it's not like we have this thing and they don't. We both have access to it and here we go. But that's another knock against something like a Knight's Whisper, right? That's that's even more damage that we're doing to ourselves. All right, so we can draw cards technically with this play. Bloop. Hopefully we do. Go like here, go like this, play the one. Draw me a land, please. Land. No. Oh, boy. Close to quitting here. This is really frustrating. All right. Looking back, figured that bump in the night wouldn't have been that big of a misplay, but it seems to be that way now that we're getting really screwed because I could have blooded there. But that's a 10. I don't know if I want to do that against this list. Yeah. Drawn pretty bad here. This deck, statistically, over the years, has been really good to me, though. I've won a few Popper Classic Tuesday events with it. I've got a few... Five O's in my past leagues and such with runs pretty hot, especially in paper. I've taken it to quite a few events and won the whole thing with it. I think a lot of uh, paper popper events, people just bring like, you know, dumb red decks. I don't mean to insult anybody, but, you know, just burn, goblin, X, red deck wins, whatever. And it, it's so good about, about beating those decks. It gives that illusion of a chance, too, where you're just like, they always get you down a little bit, and then it's just that steady, just bloop, bloop. It's not a weather the storm hit. It's just this steady faucet dripping of plus three life every turn. And, oh, I did three to you, too. So that's better than a fire blast if you start doing the math. 
Yeah, that's it's definitely got a little bit better synergy than us. And when I play it, it always hiccups on the lands, even if it's somebody else's list. But uh, right now, that's happening to us. Seems pretty creature centric. I wonder if Crypt Rats warrants inclusion here. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. We're going to hang this one up. I don't, unless they have all lands in their hand. So Rakdos, Burn, and Walls are the two lists that I really don't like to face with this, and two out of the three matchups have been that. Woo! Ha! Ah, well, Soul Reap's going to be really good here, so I'm going to bring in two Soul Reaps, and hopefully that's enough. I'm not going to go with the economy plan or anything else. We're just going to do that. Uh, I don't think the game's going to go long enough for these to really matter. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to lose those two. And we're just going to roll this one back. Like the first? Yes. Thank you for the land, but we don't need that one. One of the few times the desert would be a questionable call here, especially with a quadruple one drops. But we'll mulligan here. Keeping this one, no problem. Keepy. Lose a bump, say done. And we'll lead off just in case they've got, uh, I don't know, Gorilla Shaman with the, uh, what, what is that card? The uh, the gorilla that, that, the other gorilla that discards for one red. <laughs> Use two cards to nix it. Or some sort of ritual into shenanigans. Don't want to leave myself too marooned. Since this isn't a counterspell list and I'm going after tempo, I believe the best play isn't Sign in Blood. It's going to be Scorpion Bump. So we get that pressure on board, get our uh, opponent a little behind. And then if we miss a land drop, we can sign. Simeon Spear Guide, that's the one. Hi, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We're going to bring this out in case maybe they have an Edict Effect. Maybe. Sort of blade. This way we'll have two creatures online next turn. We'll sign. Hopefully we draw a one mana spell. Maybe another Okiba. Highway robbery. New card alert. Bloop. You may discard or sacrifice a land. If you do, draw two cards. Plot. I can just do this whenever. First time I've had a plot played against me. I believe, I mean, it has to be a sorcery. But can you plot it and then on a later turn? Okay, so it has to be a later turn. I was going to say, like, can you just do it the same turn? I guess that's why you would cast it. All right, we'll do this. Boom, boom, boom. Before anything, let's find a land, please. Even a uh, Carnarium would be good here. Thanks a lot, List. All right, we'll go in for this. Two cards closer, at least. Good news here. They so probably have to pick on that road captain, so that's going to be a bit of a healing salve to our face. It's more like a, a plus five mana, I mean a life spell, right? We're preventing the three, and we've gained two, and we've done two. Yeah, that's like a lightning helix for Popper, if you squint really hard. <laughs> I've always wanted to play... There's some little, like, I think it's called the Sky Stone or, or the artwork. It's just an artifact, and you sacrifice it, and all your creatures gain flying. It's like something weatherlight. It's Karn doing something with some bit of the weatherlight. I thought that'd be a f funny way to win in goblins or to, or to get around a Clark Can Shaman effect. That darn ki kitchen imp. I can't think of a black card that's probably killed me more than a kitchen imp. Yeah, take that back. Disciple of the Vault. I probably netted about a thousand losses with that across the table from me. Highway Robbery showing up. That's a pretty s sweet addition to Rakdos Burn, I got to admit. That is pretty sweet. That's a very good argument for going in that color. Sky Sheeper, that's the one, Nimchinsky. Thank you.
I've got this little, f little nothing. It's a huge folder and some deck lists that don't make sense because it's just keep these on the radar. I, I suggest you do that when you're perusing collections. That's a lot of time log. You're doing research. Make a make a little side collection so when you come back to stuff, you don't have to go research it all over again, right? Okay, I like this draw. Where's our raven, man? Dang it. Do we just go for carnage here? Carnage or blood? Carnage or, I'm going to draw cards again. Okay, cool. We've got a way to deal with the imp now, thanks to that move. We can choice reap. I'd much rather do a uh, kiss reap if we draw that. Since we've got double alms to the vein, I don't want to pay three for those. It might be much better at one. Sure, it's good to have Iso with us. I can't really usually make, make the show. don't know what the constraint is, but everybody's got one. All right, new, tar new target. I think I value the raven over the uh, imp as far as removal goes. Blanc. That is pretty cool. Highway Robbery in Rakdos Burn and the Raven. Maybe I should have played that list. Here comes Fire Blast for four. Yikes. Embarrassment of Riches. Seems like that list would probably want to run about 20 lands. So you get that ultra consistency, right? Always torn on that. That's so Raven. <laughs> I worked on so many Disney shows back in the day. Alrighty. I'd really like to alms here, but we're just going to do the thing. Are we choice? Let's say torture. Soul Rape to get in one more damage. Get him to eight. No shenanigans happen. We'll have him at five. Am I killing the road captain here? Tough call. They burn their own creature. That really spells the end for us because they have enough to, to warrant doing that. Okay, so that's four. That makes a lot more sense. Gotcha. I don't know if we're going to live through this turn, guys. We can't block. Really needed a uh, kiss to show up here, but this does not feel good. They have five cards. We're at four life. I think we've lost. Thought we'd be at least 2 1 or even 3 0 by now, the way this deck's been playing, but uh, you know, you hit that go live button and funny things happen. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Anything else? Come on, just draw a bunch of lands. I'm glad the red's out of the question and they, they have a come into play land. All right, all right. Are we going to get there? No way. I think we're just going to get kissed here. Kiss of death, right? Yeah, so I'm such a contrarian. Sometimes if stuff gets too popular, then I just I just have like blinders on against it. Happened that way with Boros Boli, where I was just like, "Wait, everybody likes this list now? Nah, I'm out of here. I'm gonna gain life now." Bloop. See if we can uh, instigate some removal. Just just win via attacking, maybe. We always had it. Huzzah! <laughs> Woo! I would not have bet on this horse. That is not a game I thought we were going to win there. All right. What did we like? What didn't we like? Well, we like drawing lands. Not much I can do uh, in the help department there. It is a bit more creature-centric, but we have the soul reaps for that. Let's run it back. I'll throw a dispute between the swamps and see if that helps. Whack! A little bit more than exacties, but uh, our opponent doesn't need to know that, right? Make him think that we just always had it. Whew. 
Well, to be dishonest, this hand is great. I'm going to mulligan. We'll keep this. Ay, ay, ay. I think we get rid of a swamp. It's a slow roll. This is a tough. I'm going to keep this. Uh, technically, you go Swamp Carnarium here. I'm going to lose Carnarium. I just feel like we're going to need the temp. Uh, I'm going to try to play correctly. That Soul Reap will come online on turn four. A lot more uh, higher ratio with a Carnarium draw here, but it really slows us down. Come on, I'll keep it going. Nope. Uh, Reckoner 8 is what I meant. If a certain power, oh, that's the one. If uh, you don't like your opener, you what, what is it? You you draw seven and what does it read again? Can we bring that up? <laughs> Ooh, tap the red out. <laughs> now, is this if I just top deck a swamp here? Is it worth just soul reaping right now? I think it might be nix the damage and uh, they're going to gain at least two or three life off of that. All right, well, it's not the worst thing that could have happened. We get a creature out of the deal. Get our lands online, but that raven's gonna eat us. We haven't gained any life yet. I do believe the best route here is probably to just dispute our scorpion after attack, and hopefully we draw and land into the kiss, and then we soul reap the next turn. Or if we just find a uh, heck, even a another scorpion, we could soul reap this turn. It's really doing some work already. Funny, you just put that one little caveat on a card and it just starts winning. Amazing. All right, well, we've got a Soul Reap regardless. So we'll attack first, dispute, and then we'll Soul Reap if we don't draw a land. Got to turn off this little engine that could here. Bonk. We'll get some food out of the deal. Woo! Anytime you would mulligan, except all the cards in your hand and draw that many cards. I don't think it would see play. It's my knee-jerk response. Ugh. Man, where was this hand the other turn, right? Boop. Take three instead. All right. I like this because we can soul reap straight away again if we get mana screwed. Okay. One of the most underrepresented cards in this style. Up, uh, that's that's incorrect. It's always at four, but it's when new players play this style or our opponents list that that's the card you come to love. Or you're like at first you're like two, whatever. But it's just it's the oil in the engine. It's blood tokens just make everything so consistent. Speaking of which, I just do the same thing here. Ay yeah yeah. So if I sign in blood here now, if this was you know what? Um, what is that? that? Something of the night. The one in a black. Same thing, but you can't target opponents. We would have a better play sequence here. Yeah, Knight's Whisper. So if we miss on a land here, this is really going to hurt. But we shouldn't. <sighs> Bated breath, right? We'll kiss them back. Now we're in the game. Having that soul reap just feels like a loaded gun. I just love having it. And a little bit of extra damage. A little bit nothing. That's three. Let's get a raven to show up. Make it a fire blast. I guess he <laughs> smooches. <laughs> That'll probably add to some click clickbait count, right? If I make the, what do you call it, the little video picture for YouTube, if I just call it that. Smooches! A new deck debuting on Valentine's Day. Which I believe was the only saint that was executed. We're almost in single digits. Some of kind of worried what this do they, are they just holding their sideboard here what's going on 
Feeling pretty good now. Let's think. I want to keep this for that, so I've got three mana to do stuff with. First things. Let's get our life up. We'll do this. Got to respect. They can get us kind of from out of nowhere here. We'll do this now, and then we'll drop a raid. I'd love to double raid there, but mana is a uh, high priority right now. We've got three cards to their two. Feels like we've got this one. You never know, though. I'm not quite sure how Joan of Arc met her fate. I do believe that uh, St. Valentine was beheaded, though. Some love affair with somebody, obviously. Unless you're incredibly narcissistic. <laughs> All right, we'll bring out the Revan. Uh -huh. Let's do the thing. Yo. Do I want to do that or kiss here? I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's, let's just get the kiss out of the way. Bloop. Here we go. Hit him for three. What are they holding? Are they just mana flooded here? You know, there's a card called Fodder Tosser that I always consider in, in these styles. It always feels like it's good for one. Like, just put one in your list. Highway robbery showing up. All right. Kind of liking that turn. I feel like we got this one. This is going to be so sweet because we're, I'd say, probably like a 60-40 against this list, meaning we're the 40 usually. This is the first time since the new cards have come out that I've done this, but um, I don't think it's so much a case. Like I argued, you know, we both have access to it, so that doesn't make sense, but... Maybe somehow there's too many toys in this build of our opponents. I'm just completely guessing. And uh, that's what's going wrong. Just too much new stuff, and it maybe was it more efficient before. Who knows? Do this here. Get him going. Come on, draw something good. That's good. Hmm. Let's sign and blood ourselves. Could get him to three or to one there, but still got it. Sure, let's just do this now. Yeah, let's do the thing here. I almost said cancel. <laughs> I don't know why. And do. Okay. Winfro, I don't know if that's the right word, because every time you 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 see it, you're going to uh, it's always going to be consistently getting rid of stuff. But I know what you mean. Just going to feel like it, uh, just clunky. It's that type of card, you know, just like the kind of the Raven or something, where you know, you, once you put it out there, you're like, wow. But you're always fighting, like I think there's something better to do with my turn right now. But man, mid to late, and you're just. Too many lands and your blood tokens are used up. Oh, I love that card. That's why I like Siphon Life, too, though. All right, let's end this one. We have done it, and on a stream, no less. Hiya! Somehow they pull off some weather the storm move, right? We won! I'm going to put a circle with an exclamation point around that one. Bye-bye, road captain. We get Galvanic Blast Breath Mint. Crunch! Yeah, that doesn't happen all that much. However, in this new era, maybe that is the way of things. Again, that doesn't make sense because we're both running it. All right, I got to use the restroom, get some more coffee. We'll be back for the next few rounds after we check out these wild dogs. Woo! Well, how fitting that it should come down to these two. 
Olive in her familiar black, five times the champion. Mabel, the rising star, winner last year. You can see how excited they are, but also feel the tension. Get on with it. And here it's in the crowd as we near the start of this final. And now they go, Olive away first, but a problem with Mabel's ball. That might cost her now, having to play catch up. Both settling quickly into rhythm. You can see the contrast in styles. Mabel, heavy tail use, happy to be alive. Everything's amazing. Olive, more steady, wasting little energy. Very much of the old Labrador school. Eating's a serious business. Don't bollocks around wagging your tail. And Mabel seems just a, a little sluggish here. Perhaps more was taken out of her by the worm medicine she was given last night than we thought. But Olive, focused, relentless, tasting absolutely nothing. Mabel trying. But surely a lost cause, her title defence coming to an end. Olive taking everything, nothing left but the ball to lick now. And Mabel, well, doesn't seem too upset. A bit of class there from the youngster, generous in what will surely be defeat because Olive has won now. She's taken the title back at seven and a half. Mabel looking to offer congratulations again to the dog who was her inspiration growing up. Once more, wonderful to see that spirit in the game. What a final we've had here. Great rivals, but... Great friends. Oh, and you see the swapping of bowls at the end. Uh, join us again tomorrow. Live coverage of a snooze on the sofa, possibly. Bye for now. I'll take that, my man. back I edited that years ago back when I did the trailer all the footage laying around and so I put that one together way before pop again all right let's get rid of a swamp say done I had a one lander that was eh, debatable while we were in commercial but I'm gonna look into this We need to find out where Squadron Hawk or what was the other one? Um, Quadratic Hawk has been hiding. Is Penguin Wrangler in the chat? It's become quite a common part of the show. Wink, wink. Here we go. Sign in blood. No problem. Next turn. Okay. That could mean many things. Wonder what the uh, the most confusing first drop as far as inaccuracy of calling what the person's on is like what what land would do it I guess singles have to be out right but like a dual land and popper which one when it drops you're just like because I mean I, you see like a um, Orzhov one you you pretty much know what you're up against you see a Simic one even kind of know maybe it is the Silver Buff Bridge hmm do the thing. Thank you for adding that little extra thing there on M. Chimsky. We do play this list probably the most. It surprises me because it's one of the ones I've requested the most. <laughs> oh, I love this. All right. We're just going to get on in with all this damage as fast as we can. Torture. Drop Okiba. Next turn, things are going to get bloody. We're doing at least eight damage, maybe nine if the scorpion dies. Oh, that's a good call. Mind step throw. Yeah, that's not a basic. That's true. Or like a, what's that one um, that scries for any any color? Yeah, those the, those ones would probably win. Yeah, slivers is a very good option for that style of list. Oh, cleansing wildfire, paying their dues, staying very diligent. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got them in single digits, no problem. But boy, look at this development, right? <laughs> Expect scare teller if you see that. <laughs> Ooh, 
want to I'm going to try this year to make a mind stab throw list for you mind stab. Obviously it'll have on earth and probably dark ritual, a little bit of maybe of a land destruction theme. I'm, I had somebody never try this by the way, but they reached out to me on Facebook because long ago Facebook got rid of this thing that let me it used to be this perfect format where I just you know, stay logged in and it would say, hey, Deluxikoff has a message. And I'd go over there and now it's like you got to do this eight step login crap. And so I, I don't communicate that way anymore. I use the community tab and YouTube and that's an email and that's about it. But every once in a while, I'll get some alert and it's like, oh, I felt so bad. Somebody messaged me for like eight months ago and they you know, wanted a list. And so I wrote them back saying, hey, you got to use propaganda gmail.com. It's just rare that I even found this, you know, and but they wanted me to play a uh, shadow shadow list and so I've, I've been building one like that but then it always turns into more ninja based and not blocking and then put in death touch and, and it completely went into another round but uh it's just too easy to get rid of creatures these days you know all right let's just be barbarically simple about things crunch do it again and attack scorpions getting to that point where they can't kill it Yeah, Rich Mine's a pretty good card. They used to see a lot more play. And those artifact lands got printed. They they went away, it went away pretty quick. Hmm. Yeah, we played Escape Tunnel, I think, the week you weren't here, Nimchimsky. Um Benevic Cyclops, which had its eleventh birthday yesterday. Because of Facebook, I know that. I remember printing the card up and Doing the thing when I used to use that instead of the community tab. All right. Edict effects are useless. Here comes the thing. And now are we just going to draw lands and die? What's going on? We'll do this. Returning a swamp just in case we do get a dispute. We have to represent, just like blue does with counter magic, that we have the deadly dispute in our hand at all times. But maybe, maybe not. Consider going down a three bump in the nights to fit that fourth deadly dispute in, but I don't know. We're going to get pecked to death. That white's bugging me because that suggests life gain. Something, uh, what is that, third path card? Something on the third path, draw a card, do some stuff. Boy, if you had a time machine, go back in time and at least online buy every single set of this because even junk cards from that set are like four or five dollars each. Not ephemerate. I'm not worried about ephemerate. I just don't want them to gain life. What was it? Renewed faith, that one that has cycling, you can gain like what is it? Two or four, or is it six or four? They used to see play all the time in like pestilence lists back in like 2005, six. I got mind stabbed the other day, the original suspend one. Oh my God, what a eternity that thing takes to go off. <laughs> I think when they did it, I, I was hell bent. And it was just, and I really fought to get there just to kind of prove it to the person, like, you know, hey, look how crappy this idea of yours is. <laughs> Do I wait to play the Raven? I can't really attack. That is fine. I'm not really worried about anything else. I'll attack with the uh, scorpion here. See if they get it. If they just block with a, the one five, then they get it. Hmm. Bump in the day. All right, they get it. Yeah, I'm going to keep the omens back. I mean, I block one, but uh, right now the captain's dealt with. Hopefully it eats a bolt. They got to keep another one or so back for the scorpion, and uh, right now that that raven is just a, a speed bump waiting to happen. A very bad duress if I play it now. Man, I had way too much garlic again. You don't want to be around me when my wife's out of town, because <laughs> I really overdo the garlic. I think I mentioned this before, but she had this little. 
she chopped up all this garlic once and put a sticky note in the fridge that said, enhance the flavor, not be the flavor. <laughs> I, always, I always remember that. It made me crack up. It's good that uh, streaming doesn't have scent with the mic because there would be no vampires near me, that's for sure. I wish that worked on mosquitoes, right? Eat a bunch of garlic and they don't they don't bite you. I like garlic so much, I like it on other people's breath. <laughs> That's how much I like garlic. All right. Raven's coming out. Woo! Because we've got answers. Oh, wait. No, we don't. <laughs> what am I talking about? Do, 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 do. Kill that. Do that. I think we'll just kill the scorpion. Okay, we're getting brainstormed here. Zerp, zerp. <laughs> what am I talking about? Just eating too much garlic, man. Boy, be careful. Sometimes I've really overdone it. And um, hold on a minute here. Let me just see if they want to screw up again. If you ever have it raw... Boy, I have it just a tiny bit because the one time I had like a pretty big clove all at once. And oh, it's like when you have very similar to like when you have a really big multivitamin on an empty stomach, that kind of nausea and just real quick wooziness you get. It's a horrible feeling. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll do the same thing. So unless you want to experience that, don't do that. But when you're an extremist like I am. You're like, wait, I like this thing. Maybe I'll just have it raw and a lot more of it. That's the card I didn't want to see. I knew the third path part. I forgot the union. Draw a card. Gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. Yikes. Here it comes four. Garlic and uh, pumpkin again. There we go. Yeah. Big fan of sauerkraut, kimchi. Good times. All right. Let's do, you know what? Let's sign in blood first because we might hit, uh, would that do it? That wouldn't do it. We're still going to do it. Thinking we might be able to get there with the other thing here. You know what? I kind of like this roll out. I'll throw out the raid. We should win next turn. We've got plenty of land. Unless they're going to drop like a bushwhacker here. Wouldn't that be something? Goblin birds? Why not? I'll tell you why not. It's red-blue, which means everybody's got eight answers, at least, in their sideboard. They either need to print more hate cards like that so you have this embarrassment of riches in your sideboards and you have to have the discipline to get it down. What I mean by that, like, well, I'm always joking around about, like, a green blast or a white blast, stuff like that, because, you know, then it would just... I don't know. Get get I guess barbarically simple, right? Okay, well I'm blocking a bird. You know, honest I almost said it. Dishonestly. Yeah, what do they got? A ninja here? Well, if they have removal, they're gonna have that. Oh, they could have a um cast in a fire. What would they do? Break it up? This ain't worth it. That I've never done, Winfro. I save a step and just eat it raw. I've never cooked it. Tell you, kimchi on just scrambled eggs, though. Whoo, man, that is a hell of a breakfast. This is good times. I think we've won here, unless they're just in counterspell heaven. Let's test that ability right now by doing this. Uh, oh, I thought that was blood. <laughs> this is what I meant to do. Do this for three. See how much this hits off. Boop, 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 boop. Bulldog. Interesting. If I wait for their turn to do this, uh, it kills them on their upkeep. So I think we'll try that. Yeah, yeah, they don't have another counter spell, see? 
Wait, I can't do that because I won't have a blood token, so I got to do it now. Well, wish that was a blood token. That would have been really nice, but we could have done that on upkeep. Lose focus. Replicate. So do we just pay for this? Pay two. See if this works out. We can't do anything else with our mana. Yeah, we'll do that. Eat it. What on earth is that word that you spelled there, Winfro? Sam Gispel Sal? <laughs> You're making things up. Got them right where we want them. Can someone uh, give me the brief on what, what that is? Oh, better write down what we're up against. You are, you are dead. Birds. Korean grilled. You would know that, Winfro. That's right, because Winfro spent quite a bit of time in um, Korea. When we first met him, that, that was one of the first topics of conversation, because my wife was adopted from there. Every once in a while, we'll be playing pickleball, and somebody will speak Korean to her, and she's just like, <laughs> it looks like a, uh, we well, should never reference a woman's looking like a dog butt. You know how dogs, when they hear that weird frequency, they kind of do that thing with their head, but yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. All right, they got something, they got something. Let's block some stuff here. Korean for his, more or less. All right. Good to know. Very good to know. One of my favorite foods to eat is duck. And I usually get it at Thai places. And when we were up in Seattle, we went to a Thai place, and I was all fired up to have duck. And we sat down, and they didn't have any on the menu. And I was like, what? It, what kind of place is this? Drive me crazy. I do want access to our soul reap. So I want to keep those. I do want to have a rat's package, but probably not till later. Or do I just want fumes here? Let me just bring fumes in. We didn't see too much removal. You know what? Having access to one rat. I think this is our little late game. Aha, gotcha package. We'll keep this for the big old one fiver. It'll probably get snapped or something in response, but I'll lose one of these. I really like fruits in these kind of matchups, and I'll lose two bumps. Let's go. And I'm not too worried about their graveyard. More or less for. I only bring a Nihil Spell Bomb against, you know, something like um, the Big Stink, you know, those kind of lists with the ginormous. Graveyard interactions immediately all the time. Yeah, I'm working on a rogue list where I've got uh, Macabre's main. It's showing some promise. Still a couple sets away from being relevant. Let's go. Yeah, it's nice to have Isa with us live. Feels like a Tuesday. <laughs> all right, buddy. We'll see you on Tuesday, hopefully. Only time I don't make proper classic Tuesdays is if something with pickleball comes up or which is very rare on a Tuesday it's one of the few days I don't I don't play it or uh, I'm just got s clobbered at work if I hit that traffic at the wrong time and leave late then I won't, I'm not able to make it in time but okay I want a soul reap I, I mean I want a raven here so much 
so much quick damage. I think Blood's the the play here. So we've got a Soul Reap option next turn. That's fine. Now if I draw a one drop, that Raven doesn't fall on death ears. Tickle ball. <laughs> oh, we played um we had our league game on, you know, Thursday nights and Oh my gosh, my wife was just killing people. It was so awesome. We we went up against, I think, a better team, but we just we were able to, at least when my wife and I played, we were able to beat everybody we played. It was a really cool thing because couples and pickleball don't play well together. It's just a thing. But we have slowly become something of relevance. Okay. I yeah, this is ugly. I think we just drop Raven, despite everything I was just arguing. Drop this, set up our mana, and just pass the turn here. Not representing too much. <laughs> A cutthroat stock trader with the soul reap, says Winfrew. Nice. Just this week alone, there's been two times in conversations with people that don't know about magic I was able to bring up a um, a creature, or I mean a, a reference, or know what they were, the word they were using because of uh, reference to MTG. So you parents out there, get your kids into magic. It'll help their vocabulary. <laughs> I have become the Luxinoff destroyer of pickleballs. What a cursed soul. Boy, that Killian guy really nailed his Oppenheimer. When you see the original Oppenheimer stuff, it's... All of his little mannerisms and stuff. It's just so dead on. All right. We are... Uh, I guess we just don't give him the bait until we need it, right? Do this. Yeah, we'll do it now since... Really doubt that they've got... Well, they could have Ephemerate, right? Want to use it on an auger? I don't care about the auger. I'm just going to pass. I don't want to walk into an ephemerate, and I do not want to three damage for a one. I want to save it. They can probably counter one of the soul reaps. That other one might actually hit the uh, the bird man, the mystic. I've got the EOT suffocating fumes cycle move here. So, mind stab you spelled the Luxikoff right. Most people don't. Because I misspelled it when I made it. <laughs> if you want to be exacting, I'm reminded of that. Is Jared's little uh, thank you? He he got the E and the I switched like so many people do, but it's endearing. Here we go. EOT goodness. I am an impatient bastard. There we go. Pow! All right. Always had it, baby. Woo! It sure is. All right, we'll do this, followed by a kiss. Tempted to do this. Actually, I'd rather have kiss uh, succeed than the alms, even though it's more damage. There's just so much more value in that. All right, so we got the damage through. Now does this kiss go through? If this kiss goes through, we might win. That's how important this is. Yeah, and unfortunately, our opponent knows that too. Ooh. You know, with the wife out of town, my son and I are splitting the car. So I was like, okay, walk to work, then I'll do the grocery shopping, then I'll park it at your work, and then I'll walk home. So that's the plan. So if you don't see me online for a few hours while the video is uploading, and you're curious, as maybe one of you in the whole world are, that's what I'm doing. Yep. My breath weapon, wildfire, scred, counterspell. Aha! I think we escaped that soul reap from doing nasty stuff. Definitely going to be going after that uh, mold. I almost said soul drifter. All right, let's create that card in the chat, eh? Soul drifter. Is that what a mold drifter is on the way to the graveyard? But if it was an actual card, what would the stats be? Soul would suggest it's white. Rummaging Goblin. Hmm. I'll have to bring that up. See what you're talking about. 
Cool. I love when our opponents tap out. Please do it more. Makes me not have to use this thing between my ears. Cool. That's a really good pull, actually. Boop. Do I just go for it here? They'll ephemerate that. Let's make them completely nix on, on it. Just got the board here. No ephemerate plan for you. The Birdman shows up. I think we could play through that. Soul Drifter, you drop two cards. Opponent discards a card. How about uh, Soul Drifter? Reveal the top two cards. If any of them are a creature, you gain that much life. And draw a card. Get a little half card advantage with that play. Get him in single digits. When Soul Drifter comes into play, says in Chimsky, opponent loses three life and gain three life. Evoke white black. <laughs> three three. Damn. Oddly fair. Ah. Damn union of the third path. Those zealots outside the church. What are they doing? Uh, just more of a boy. That's quite the place to be. Somebody came home, a little heroic reunion, roses being. Is that a wedding? Hmm. In reality, that'd be a good card to be trapped inside of. Said no one ever till just now, probably. That or idyllic beachfront or whatever that land is. <laughs> and just chill out and watch the sunset endlessly and go surfing for the rest of your life. That'd be pretty cool. All right, there's a new there's a new idea. Best card to be trapped inside of. Go. Idyllic beachfront or whatever that one's called. Seems pretty good. And I'm so tempted to just hard cast this and then cast this just so it goes through. Let's try to play correctly. Bonk. Stage of the game. We really want to hold our cards back. But... Yeah, I'm gonna hold back. We can get spell pierced here here if we if we hard cast it. And they're not in single digits, so Bizarre Baghdad. Too hot for my my taste. That'd be a good yeah, if, if technically if you're just stuck somewhere, you might as well never run out of things to read, right, Nimjimsky? Those are good calls. I was going I guess a little more cheaply, like just uh creature comforts was where my mind went, but that's a good point you make with the Library of Alexandria. It's like, yeah, sunset and surfing be nice, but then what, right? Who knows? Maybe the Vault of Whispers, this door leads to like some Snoopy lair with like all these endless things to do or something, right? Wave Sifter got... Oh, bring that one up. I don't even know that one. Okay, all of a sudden they're in this game. One Ken Koo will do that. I think Ken Koo's value went up too because of the uh, um, Tithing Blade. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Saw a bit of that going around. It also has the added advantage of not playing this, of just being like, is that better to counter or the other one? They've already shown us two counter spells. Okay. Digging for another one. Ooh. Boy, if they find another artifact land, that's going to be nasty. Of course you do, Nemchimsky. I think everybody's got one or two lists with it in there. But yeah, after about that third week, that's the definition of new card smell, boy. Sure looked like it was going to be doable, but, but no. Breaking the rules. I'm going to cast it now, just hard cast it. We've got the two to pay for anything other than a uh, hard casted counter here. I don't think this is counter worthy at this stage of the game for our opponent. They think otherwise. <laughs> do they actually have the mana to do that? I guess they do, huh? No. Uh, 
And it's feeling that way. This, uh, I think it was Penguin Wrangler last week talking about playing through counter spells and stuff. That there was such a thing as like uh, magic campuses or like, you know, oh, now you're going over to teacher so and so to learn about <laughs> subject X. That would probably be what I'd be like the professor of, like battling uh, against uh, counter mages without having counters yourself. And how to do it by a gamer. Oh yeah, the campus, good place. All right, everybody's on this educational kick now, right? I'll try to find places to the best places to read. It's pretty hard to beat the Library of Alexandria. <laughs> how about the best the best card to live in? I guess it's the same thing. Like your your house is there. I've got such a twisted sense of aesthetics and being raised by a horror fanatic and stuff. That Rakdos Carnarium would be a pretty fun place to have a bedroom, I would think. <laughs> a little too bright for my taste, but Huh? All right. Maybe they had to run? Who knows? Strange. That was the second game, too. That was weird. Sorry about that, everybody. The drawbacks of not playing a league. Uh, there's plenty of playing them, too, though. Gosh, the other... It's been a few weeks, probably months, since I've, I've played a league. But, man, there was one time I did, and I, I hit enter, and it was like the first matchup. Oh, my God. It took, like, what, 14 minutes for somebody to show up? I was like, whew, glad I'm not streaming that. I mean, I complain when it takes a minute for somebody to show up here, but yeah, we want to play first. We want to mulligan immediately. We want to keep this. We want to get rid of probably the alms. Yeah, done. I'll lead off with the Reckner raid here. And if we see a forest, we'll drop the raven. Otherwise, it might be a, a vampire's kiss turn. Or that. This will have relevance, too. Let's play the raven. Scorpions, thank you for showing up. I will need you in about two turns, if this is a, a decent slivers list. I've got a really good track record with slivers. I think I played it three times on the stream and I think we're 14 and 1 if you look back on those. I've had two five O's and I think a 4 1. The only times I've played. I'm kind of a sliver purist, though. I like that artifact one. I think it's worth the tempo. I think people get a little too greedy. And uh, the old miss the forest for the trees sort of argument. Oh, yeah. Bewitching leechcraft. I was just playing Blessing of Leeches the other day. I know it's not the same, but close enough. That shadow list, I was looking for a permanent answer against red messing with my stuff. I was like, Blessing of Leeches! Regenerate for zero. Pay life every turn. <laughs> yeah. Don't think that that would be uh, worthy of the time there, Mind Stab Throw. Eventually, maybe with some sort of a... Would that work with Proliferate? No. Or would it? Who knows? All right. Let's get the value out of this. I just want to get something online here. Soul Reap's going to be really good. I hope a White Lord shows up. A lot of times I'm holding Soul Reap and they only have the Green Lords. We might as well attack here. Kaladesh or Theros. Oh, yeah, if you're talking just worlds to live. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably go in a Strahd for me. <laughs> Halloween all the time. My wife always catches me humming the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas music. Just randomly, one or two times a week, I'll just wake up and I just hear that tune in my head. I don't really watch the movie all that much. What's really trippy is that, oh boy, did they have, um, 
You know, if they have a mutagenic, I'm fine with this move. I'll just block. What's really funny is you go back my timeline long enough because I was born so late. I was I was supposed to be a Halloween baby, and I was like a month late. I was born in December instead. All right, let's go, blockers. Is it worth attacking? I still want to sit on this, so... Let me just bring out the scorpions. Boop, boop, boom. In case a lord shows up, I want to be able to live. I'm sure I've seen Trick or Treat Winfro. Nightmare Before Christmas. Damn, damn good. Such a fun, fun movie. Funny how good the the original Halloween's really good too, but um, that's such a similar to Oppenheimer. You take the music away from it, it's almost unwatchable. It is a a character in that movie, that's for sure. The thing holds up. Another John Carpenter gem. We also wrote the music for. Yeah, the Halloween movie. Yeah, right. I mean, they named it that, right? Okay, this doesn't bode well. Let's see what new devilry is showing up here. Nothing. I don't like the bodyguard. That's going to really negate our soul reap plan. Hopefully they just power out the uh, muscle and wait a turn. I think that's what's happening. Never mind. Damn holdout settlement. We are just talking about that. Bloop. Don't play the bodyguard. It's a horrible card. Only fools play it. You know, I've got to get a, I got to get a cowboy hat. We got a cowboy theme set, and instead of having to wear the fake hair for the uh, the prize and the Twitch chat, using up those things. Hey, uh, Cyrusian Mana, what's up? Good to have you with us. First time chat. Thanks for joining us. But it'd be a nice option, especially in the summer months. I don't have to wear a hot wig when you guys have, you know, turn in all those points. I can put on a cowboy hat, and then it'll still be a little popper themed. I don't think I need my head to get much bigger. <laughs> So good thing about being bald when you already have a sort of a large dome is it takes the effect away of having too big of a head. Woo! All right. These lords. Do we just block here? I think we do. How am I going to block, block? I'm going to die, die. Get him to 9-9. Nine, nine. The flanking shows up. Everybody's dead. Vigilance is a thing. Such an unsung ability. All right, they got a bodyguard. I'm just going to remember that for the sake of screen real estate here. Boom, boom, boom. We're pretty healthy. We don't want that bodyguard to come out. Santa Jaws. <laughs> I have never heard of Santa Jaws. But with all the, uh, the Sharknado style movies, I'm sure it's not. Ah, darn it. There he is. Hmm. I'm just, just going to go for it here. Bring this out. Maybe they miss it. I guess we'll target... Uh, uh, I guess this is the most valuable one, right? Let's go. Don't see it. Hey, all right. I love misplays. Maybe it isn't. Maybe they've got some awesome two cards left. Die hard. I, I went on a deep dive the other day. Sometimes works really slow and I'll, you know, you get on those YouTube little tunnels and I always try to stretch in between, but sometimes I'll just be sitting a little too long and I saw somewhere where, um, was it Stallone or Schwarzenegger was supposed to be in the original Die Hard? I mean, you see it now, you just can't imagine anybody but Bruce Willis playing it. It's so true of so many movies. I mean, it completely made his career. Because before that, he was in that, there was some TV show. I never watched it. It's like an old people show. But that's what really made him make that jump to movie star, right? Oh, this is, uh, well, I'm not going to, we won't count that other one. This is Slivers. All right, Crypt Rats, where you at? Boom. I'll keep the two soul rapes. I think there's too much green to really rely on much else. And we've already seen you know who. 
Actually, I think we lose Soul Reap here. We've got the two rats. Do we want to bring in Debt to Kami? I don't think so. They're going to be just pitching the little one ones here. I know what I said. I'm going to keep in the two Soul Reaps. We're going to lose the fruit. And a bump, I think. Even though these do fuel the Reap. They're more late game cards. And uh, we need to be winning a lot sooner. Not going to rely on the fruit of Tezzeris going into the late stages of the game. Woo! Love this hand. Could be better as far as cards go, but the mana ratio and that curve is really nice. Keep. I guess it's a cruel twist of fate, right? He is dying hard. That is a terrible way to go. All right, this hand just got excellent. Play this out. Look at the sequencing here. I do believe it's probably not worth playing the Carnarium second for tempo. Oh boy. Yeah, this is going to be a landslide if this keeps up. I kept a one lander. Strange. Who do you think you're playing against? Change of plan. Raven's coming out straight away. All right, yeah, that, that one's over. Very over. All right. And then we got a quitter. We'll call this the last round. Woo! Feels like a short show, but it is over two hours already. Just, uh, I guess when you are you like playing the deck and chat's been pretty lively. Moonlighting, that's the one, yeah. I thought, you know, I did remember that. I just didn't want to admit that I remembered it because it would make me sound even older. But I was being truthful when I said that I never watched it. But I did know all the little promos on the shows and stuff like that. I'm telling you, Dreamer Stingo, it's a real thing. I think we've proven it here and on many past shows. Okiba! You know, when they say MTGO is random, I know it isn't. There is something weird in the works because string this up with the exact same cards and the same lands and everything and, and put... Um, uh, to 19 lands in it, and you'll get hands like this all day long. You cut it to 18, and you get better hands. It's the strangest thing ever. Mulligan. All right, we like this. We'll keep. We don't have an Okiba, so that's mud in my face. I like all of this. I think I get rid of Tyrants here because, yeah, I'm going to get rid of Tyrants here. They call it... <laughs> Pseudo random for a reason. Eso's back. Woo! Getting better and better. We'll lead off with this. Uh oh. Is this Rakdos burn again? Who shall see? Bam! The station. Pretty nice art. People. Even their silhouettes look like they're in suits. Just doesn't feel magic. All right, this is uh, obviously let's attack here. <laughs> Chores of tyrants for centuries. To bump in the night or not to bump in the night? I think not. Let's just play some honest magic. Some honestly magic. Sounds like some bad coffee product. Honestly, magic. Just put two scoops in and the pounds. All right, so this is uh, first day of class, which I have seen about three times this week. There must have been a list that did pretty well. Not quite sure what's changed. It's probably that new uh, robbery card, highway robbery. Mogwarts, that's the name I was looking for. Well, unfortunately, if they've got it, we're just kind of dead in the water here. We're going to attack first, implying we have an edict effect. Well, they're implying we do, I guess. I think... The correct play here is sign in blood and look for the soul reap so that they have less than a one turn window to pull that off, but I'm not going to do it. So I'm greedy 
I don't think they got it. And I want to get the most value out of our Raven. So that's what everybody came to see. Woo! It's a neat concept, the crime. Just whenever you do anything, stuff happens. It looked clunky at first, but in play, it's like, oh, it's pretty elegant. Greed never hurt anyone. All right. And we're dead. Maybe. See if they got stuff. Sometimes, you know, they just go crazy and then they don't, they don't have a payoff. Oh, there's the payoff. Yep. They can just go scry for their answer. Good to see this thing go off so people understand it, including me. This just auto loses to Macabre, though. Macabre. <laughs> I always say Macabre. I know it's said Macabre, but. Uh, da, 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 what did we call this? Man, the chat's going fast today. Mogwarts. Funny. One movie, you know, it doesn't even. I mean, it does have to do with magic in the general sense, but. It does seem to be running better, yet we've not seen any new cards. I'm not quite sure. What, what is Book of Raz? Wait, do I draw a card? Are we just dead here? What's going on? Are they doing the thing? I haven't been paying attention. You know, you'd think you could almost win faster with Death Greeter. Why I know that card? It's pathetic. Whenever a creature dies, opponent loses one life, I think. I think it's called Death Greeter. Da, da, da. So far, we're still in the teens at the attack. Oh, gain a life. I thought it was die. Or, I mean, uh, loses a life. There's got to be a card that loses a life when something dies, right? My bet Snimchimsy is going to find it first. Okay. Revealing and stealing. This has been played. This has been played. This has been played. Bye bye. Seven cards in question. Are they just going to get enough creatures eventually and then just uh, bushwhack us, I guess. Sometimes it is fun when you're going off on a deck and your opponent is clearly F6. You're like, woo! Oh, yeah, the Noble does it. Yeah, that's a bit expensive. That's right. That was in, like, I believe in the first, maybe that's where I got the idea. I think in the very first few versions of it, that, that was quite the common card to see. You don't see that one much anymore. There was a player, gosh, who was it? Um, it wasn't Mogwarts, but they they always played a Rakdos build with Frankenrath Noble. What was their name? It used to be totally, I'd, I'd face them at least once a week in leagues and everywhere else. And they played the hell out of that list. And they were the only ones that did it. People tried it and they couldn't quite play it as well as this guy did and he just vanished. And if I looked at my buddy's list, I'd probably be able to recollect who, what, where, etc. My only hope here is that uh, <laughs> we don't have to block and we'll still be able to get there. I doubt it. Need to see the many uh, faces this deck can have though, right? Yeah, we're getting pretty close to dead to attack here. Three, six, nine. There's another four, 13. All right, we're dead. Concedo. Concedo change So we'll bring our graveyard package in. This is when you wish you had four macabs, but I was trying to be a somewhat relevant. Hmm. 
I want to go, do I want to go hard with these? I think I do. This kills everything they've got. Dispute could go down to two. The choice can go down to two. I'm really trying to just kind of overboard on purpose. I don't want to die to combo here. And the last bump. Well, let's go. Cut all of, except for one of the Okibo Reckner Raid and draw it in my opening hand, right? All right, we have lost that one. We won every game except the first one against Walls. I don't remember the day going that well, but that's what the notes say. Yeah, we beat Slivers. We beat Rakdos Burn, which was the big pat on the back. We ran over UB Fish, and uh, apparently we didn't have any ladders for the Walls because we lost to Walls. But uh, what we lose here, we shall see in the next exciting episode of Popper Candle. All right, we win. Keep the most overzealous comment ever, right? Opening, we win. Hey, I was going to say, where's my Reckoner Raid? This isn't keepable. <laughs> Woo! Mirkwood Bats, yeah. Yeah, the big score style decks, right? The three and a red, I think it is. Make two treasure tokens. Bop, bop, bop. All righty. Yeah, about every four or five months we pull out Blackburn. Never a better reason than now, though, with uh, our new toy to play with. I was really hoping we were going to top deck the, uh, the creature there, but oh well. Uh, da, 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 da. I'd rather get more resources. Let's go. There we go. Not too much use of playing that Carnarium with double lands in our hands here with a Soul Reap, depending if that creature drops here. We'll change our tune. Boop. That'll keep a minute. Negating our Okiba for a little bit. There's a token generator. Never liked this card. I understand why you want to play it, but it's just four for that. It's like, oof, I don't know about that. Not of relevance to what we're trying to do here. Cool, cool. Oh, let us do that. We'll play out the spell bomb. Might get a concession just by doing this. Yeah, well, Sovereign's Bite. Boop, boop. Outside of a whole bunch of candy trails showing up. Feels like we got this one, but never know. And here's Nightblade. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-oh. Well, I'm glad I have the spell bomb out. Holy cow. I guess we let him choose. I mean, we can just kill it with Soul Reap, so there's a little bit of a conundrum there. It's a card that doesn't see enough play. Mesmeric Fiend is a very good card. Very fragile, but if you can do the trick where you kill it on purpose first, it's pretty awesome. It's one of those when you're when you're brewing brewing brand new with black, you always think like, well, what about this? But you know, with all the deadly dispute style stuff out there, it's pretty relevant. I think I'll just attack into that, right? Oh, that's cruel, isn't it? It's just like, ha ha, here's the deal. They know we have the Carnarium. I'm gonna attack. I don't think they're gonna block. Cool. I'm going to play the Carnarium because I know we have it. Bring back the Swamp. Confuse them some more. It's cruel, like an ultimatum. Hey, man, what's going on here? They think they're getting that last soul rape. They're going to have to... Reap the rewards of another macabre. They're, this person's probably like, oh my god, this guy just keeps drawing these. Not if they don't watch Popacanda. Then they're going to know, like, oh yeah, of course. That guy was born with four of those in his hand. A 
Got to scram. Catch the rest on YouTube, Winpro. All right. Have a good weekend. Thank your wife again, please. Boo. Here we go. Let's see if we can 4 1. Feels like they're on the wrong game plan. Are they overboarded or their deck's just not showing up? I mean, those mesmeric fiends are showing up for sure. Gonna attack here. They're not gaining any life. I know they do have a candy trail out. What is that? Three, I think? Yeah. It's always three. Woohoo! Any black card, please. Heck, maybe even hard cast a macabre, right? Of course, it's easy to say the deck's not showing up when I'm s sitting there holding a bomb to their graveyard. Hmm. Boy, the hand hate next level. That's when you want to have your uh, alms of the vein in your hand, right? That is a pretty cool art for duress. Just, uh, just a gargoyle, or is that thing real? In comes the lightning bolt. Pressing gingerly on the past the turn key so I don't walk right over defeat. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Well, if we get a deadly dispute, we'll have a target now. Let's attack. I'm going to trip that bomb just for tempo here. What's going on? I think this person's hitting a record against a black red deck for Mesmeric Fiends living. This is three turns now. This. Life race is getting quite relevant if we keep drawing lands here. Dreamer Stingo, before I forget, send me a uh, picture that you want to see thousands of times on the show. Have your wife or somebody else take a nice shot, or if you've got one existing, so we can put you in the card for the uh, intro. You've been consistent and long enough. It's time to get your name in lights, my friend. But be wary. I won't do it twice, so <laughs> you better like it. <laughs> I went to, um, we went to the beach right when I was making propaganda. My, Aaron and I played like a Roby on the beach or something. When, when you see me pointing at the, that was uh, just randomly. It was he, I think that was the first time he got a phone that took a picture, and uh, he wanted to take a picture of me, and then I was like, hey. Give me that picture, and then it, I turn it into the card, and you guys have seen it thousands of times ever since. Do the thing. Ooh, can I draw Crypt Rats, please? That would be epic. Our dude would live. Okay. All right. They're doing the thing. That's another thing. Come on, Crypt Rats. That's why I'm so tempted to trip that spell bomb. Guess I'll keep back just for blocking at this stage. That feels a little better. I'm just going to hard cast this, getting a little nervous. These lands do nothing. I'm going to keep them in our hand. We've already seen duress and things like that, so got six mana down. That's all we need. I'm very tempted mind stab. I might just have to, but at this stage, you know they're just sitting on everything they need. I might want to pay attention to what they went and grabbed. Yeah, they've got the combo in hand. I mean, well, we don't know if they have first day of class, but they're almost halfway through the list here. Well, I don't like this strategy. It's just, it's just so many cards that just absolutely run it. It's one of those decks you almost, if you draw decent, you're going to win game one all the time, but you've got to hit those. Uh, if anything needs a switch or roost, you know, like your sideboard turns into a completely different list, it's this one. Just completely get rid of the whole graveyard cares mechanic somehow. Just make it aggro, maybe. I don't know. Put in the um, that one devil that mimics uh, the bushwhacker. It unearths for two and a red. What is that? Scourge devil? God, I hope I don't have that right. It only gives a 1 0. -oh advantage to all your attackers, but it does unearth, so that's pretty cool. I think it's four and a red to get hard cast. Cool. 
We're not doing much, but uh, we're gaining life. Let's go. Back 21, please. Oh, God. I got it right. God dang it. I mean, there's at some point you you kind of pat yourself on the back and then there's a level of sadness that comes with like, how much of my brain is magic centric? Apparently almost all of it. That's when I wish I had a live camera. So, you know, I'm not like, <laughs> I don't have something up on a monitor on my phone that's showing this. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, put a plus one counter on it. All righty. Let that go. I wait for it to hit the yard. There's the guy. Yep. I got a trick for when it hits the yard. That's right. All right, we're doing the thing. Bloop. With uh, this thing. I hope I top deck a macabre here. That would be ideal. We only have one left, though, so it's pretty rare. Yes. Uh, if we're going to lose, this is why. Bonk. There's Putrid Gobra number two. That's a nice way around it. Stand corrected. Yield through the turn. Can they get there? Probably. Uh oh. Mesmeric Fiend's doing some work. This was a shutout game if it wasn't for Mesmeric Fiend. Isn't that cool? I mean, nobody's going to play Ostracize. That's a damn good card, especially in a sack ability engine there, which is, I'm sure, what they usually do. Sack it immediately and then just keep getting stuff back. Makes me want to brew with Mesmeric Fiend. Such a good card. Well, it looks like we're going to be 3-2 on the Dave. Looks like our opponent is doing the thing. So we lost to Walls, beat um, Demir Fish, Rakdos, Burn, and Slivers. And it looks like we're going to have our second loss to Mogwarts. A deck that would have a completely different name if it wasn't for Hollywood. Mama number five. <laughs> oh, also, um, Will or Dreamer Stango, however moniker you'd like to go by, make sure to uh, list like kind of what colors you like your card to be too. I don't play it all that often other than Simic, but that has always been one of my favorite symbols. So if you look on my card, it has a lot of Simic imagery in it. And that's why. Page purple. <laughs> no white borders. <laughs> It'd be immediately ostracized from hosting duties if that somehow was able to sneak through. Thank goodness my co-hosts are, are here as mods only and not graphic designers because... Uh... <laughs> Maybe for the last show, if I ever know what my last show is and I, I don't meet my demise or, or some other scenario, that would be a funny way to go out with an all-white bordered list for the last show. It would keep me away from the game for good. All right, they got us here. Let's just let them do the thing, eh? They worked so hard to get there. Made me eat my words. I mean, we had two macabs in the first, like, three draws and the spell bomb, and they're still going, so that's impressive. Got to... Give them lots of credit. <laughs> Do they have 5th edition Mind Stab rolls? I don't think that's a card, Mind Stab. I think that's only Fallen Empires. I know there's like two or three versions of the art. You're kidding me. Is that really a 5th edition? I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, that is... I am wrong! I'm kind of happy these days when I'm wrong about magic. Like I said, it just takes up too much of my brain. It's like, oh, good. 
Maybe I'm remembering some uh, social security number or something of relevance. This is a pretty cool list. Wolf Zuli is our opponent. If you're watching this later on YouTube, send me this at propaganda@gmail.com. I don't think I even have this deck built. It's one of the few kind of, uh, you know, French popular lists that I just never got around to building. Pretty cool. Sure is working well. I mean, we 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 got everything. We overboarded and we saw it. I mean, about the only thing we didn't see is our crypt rat show up. At this stage, though, it'd be pretty ugly. We get the idea. I'm running out of things to say. Uh, eventually, they're going to attack us. So, boom, 3-2 on the day. Raven showing up. Pretty decent outing. Uh, outside of a double mesmeric fiend. This uh, plays really well. Definitely think it's an upgrade. A lot of times when a new set of cards comes out, you tinker, whatever, do your thing. At the end of the day, yeah, it was a new card, but you always, you know, how often do you say, you know, oh, it's kind of better the other way. This, not so much the case. This, uh, this, you don't think it, you know, this only amplifies one thing a turn, but boy, it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. And, uh, you know, the new deserts are a thing, but like uh, I put Kessig Flamebringer here for a reason because that's kind of what this feels like. It's not nearly as powerful, but in a black deck that's gaining life and you've got that two-tiered system instead of just doing damage, you're, you're always kind of uh, going like this with the water supply of life. It, uh, it, it feels pretty OP at first. That's why I was a little bit in question of it because I was like, I got to see it in play. And when I did, I was like, oh, yeah, it fits. Um, technically one of the weaker cards but if they don't have removal, it it, it uh, makes every other one of your spells better. So, yeah. Next week will be Janktastic. Probably going to be on some Holy Cow build. And then we'll probably be done with the whole cowboy set as far as forcing cards and, into the show and stuff like that. But um, anyway, we'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Like I said, I'll be online all afternoon and night. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll see you all online. And we'll get a few games in, do all that stuff. As we go out, we'll uh, check out, uh, hmm, what do we say? Ah, I guess we'll go with supporters. Anyway, thanks for joining me, everybody. Till next week, woo! This is Deluxe signing off.